Hi everybody, this is Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a Crochet World flip through. This will be the August 2022 issue. And as you see behind me, I am outside. Um, I am in our garden area here on the property. Um, it's a beautiful day. Um, I am outside because I'm waiting for the sheep shears to come today to take the wool off the sheep. So I'm kind of out here on double duty. So I thought, well, while I'm waiting for them, I'll just do a quick video. So I don't know how bright this is. I'm sitting um, under an umbrella, a picnic, you know, a table with the umbrella. So it might be kind of dark, I don't know, but I just felt like this was a good opportunity to do a video. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the magazine, it's Crochet World, and it is August 2022. There are 28 patterns in the magazine, and I love this one. It's a different take on like a granny square, it looks like. So I like that one. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So of course we have a table of contents and some of the patterns. A note from the editor. The first one is called Simple Shapes Mug Rugs. And this one is Confident Beginner. It's a two. And it is using Lily Sugar and Cream Medium Worsted Weight Cotton Yarn and a size eight hook. But like I have said before, you can make them your own and use whatever size hook or yarn that you have. The next one is wood, Woodland Animal Bags. This is an easy pattern, right there. And here they are. I'm gonna be making these, these are adorable. I'm not making them so much to be bags, but during the um, Halloween season, autumn season, I will have candy and stuff, and I just have them out and just have them filled with candy and stuff in my house. So uh, those are definitely, you will see me working on those. The next one is Shelter Animal Bed, and it is a confident beginner and here they are showing you some stitches that you might need to know and here is the bed so yeah I really like that I might make some of those and donate to my humane society the next one is a kaleidoscope pot holder and I really like this one as well. This one is intermediate so you need to have a little bit of skill. This is a four so it's intermediate but I really like that. Really pretty. Okay. And then they do have diagram for it as well. The next one is the knotted sack bag, and it is an easy pattern. And here it is. This would be perfect, like if you are someone that crochets on the go, cross stitches on the go. Just does something, some project 
you could take in here and take it with you as you go. It would have to be small, I believe. Yeah, it's four and a half inches wide by 11 inches tall, excluding um, strap. But yeah, that would be perfect to take. And then we've got the diamond shopping bag, which is confident beginner. And here it is. Really pretty. It is 15 and 3 quarters inches tall by 17 and a half inches wide. The next one is mitered rectangle tote. And it is easy. Easy pattern. And here it is, also with the diagram. Okay, and the next one is Kindergarten Nap Buddy. This is adorable. I love this one. It's an easy pattern. So here it is, and easy pattern. And it is, the blanket is 30 inches wide by 45 inches long. The pencil bag pillow is 19 inches in circumference and 28 inches long. And it uses um, medium worsted weight. And here it is. That's adorable. I wish I had small children and I could make that. Okay. And the next one is Lola Market Bag. This one is an intermediate pattern, so some crochet skill is needed. So, and then here it is. And they also do have a diagram of it right here. And the next one is an amethyst doily, and it is a moderately challenging. So this one is going to, you will need experience with this one. It's 19 and a half inches in diameter. Really pretty. And right up here is moderately challenging. Okay. And the next one is Aztec Runner. And it is an easy pattern. That's pretty. I hope you guys are able to see this good. It's looking darker on my screen and I'm just hoping that it, it's not looking as dark as it actually. And then here is a pattern diagram. Okay, the next one is the Resplendent Squares Part 4. This is the one that every Every time the magazine comes out, there's a couple of squares that you can do to add on to it. And this is intermediate, so some skill required. And these are the two squares for this month. Really pretty. And then once again, then that's what it would look like. Okay. The next one is Quartet of, Def of Decorative Edges. It's intermediate. Up here. And you have 
showing you some of the stitches and then here is the edgings that you can make to put on whatever pillowcases sheets whatever you want to put them on okay and then we have product review and Annie's creative studio and it is learn to crochet socks so they have their review of that and what they think so that's in there and here is some more of that and then the diagram of how the square should go and we got in the world of crochet and it's called woof how to celebrate national dog day so we have the article here And on the back and here's another one Tunisian magic triangles Afghan this is an easy pattern it's beautiful those are my colors and this might have to get put on my list it's easy the blocks are 13 inch squares the Afghan is 56 inch square it's using Red Heart Super Saver Striped, medium worsted weight, and you need a size L, 14 inch Tunisian crochet hook. And there's a size 10, or a size K, standard crochet hook. So they give you some stitches to know but look at this I hope you can see good it is beautiful it is beautiful that is definitely going on my list and then here's some more diagrams to help you the next one is Hues of Blue Table Mat. It is uh, easy. It's three, number three. Um, it is 10 inches in diameter and it is using Premier Home Medium cot weight cotton um, and a G hook. Really pretty. Those are my colors as well. So might need to make that as well quite a few things in this one going around in circles rug it's an easy pattern uh, the finished measurement is 31 and a quarter inches in diameter and it's using lion brands just hemp bulky chunky weight and you need a size j hook and a size k hook so there's the easy. And this is pretty too. Trying to, oh, there's some more. Really pretty. And then we get what was on the front Afghan squared. It's an intermediate four. Uh, finished measurements are 43 inches wide by 50 inches long and it uses a J hook and then you can use whatever I mean you can use whatever anyway but you could just use your they give a list but you can use whatever you want to use for color so it's intermediate and there it is really pretty And then they have diagram on the back. And then we got Cra Crazy Eights Lapgan. This is easy. 
Measures 42 inches in diameter from flat edge to flat edge. They use a Lion Brand Mandala, lightweight acrylic yarn, a size I crochet hook. And it's easy. And here it is. Really pretty. And I think we're about to the end. The next one is Mod Triangles Pillow. It's an intermediate. It is 18 inches square. They use a cotton acrylic yarn and you need a size E hook. So there, intermediate, and then there it is. Pretty. And then back here is the diagram. And then we've got a modern geometric blanket. It's a easy, it's easy. Um, finished measurements are 40 inches wide by 49 and a half inches long, excluding the tassels. They use Premier Yarns Anti-Peeling Everyday Worsted Medium Yarn, and they use a size H hook. So this is easy. And here are some stitches. And then here is that one. Okay, and then here's the diagram on the back, and that looks to be it. And then we got the buyer's guide in the back, standard yarn weight system, and the skill levels. So this right here is the standard yarn weight system down here. And up here is the skill levels, and they explain what each of their skill levels, when I tell you it's easy, well, they explain, or beginner, like this, number one, beginner. They have it as projects for first-time crocheters using basic stitches with little or no shaping. So they tell you exactly where you might be at. And then you've got your stitch guide, and you've got all of the stitches right there. And then at the very back, then they have all of the patterns. And they have the number of the pages. So that is my review. The flies have found me. So that is my review of Crochet World, the August 2022 issue. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This is not sponsored. I just love the magazine and I love sharing the projects with you. And I hope that you'll check the magazine out. It is... Displayed until August 22nd, 2022, but sometimes they display them longer. Or you can um, order it online. You can go to crochetworld.com and you can order them there. You can order them through Amazon. So anyway, yes, check it out. I would highly recommend the magazine. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.